Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, February the 4th. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany and the scripture for this service. Psalm 1 and Galatians chapter 4, verse 21 to 31. And please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 66, part 2 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. If sin lay covered in my heart, while prayer employed my tongue, then you had shown me no regard, nor I your praises sung. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. Psalm 1. And please recite it together with me. Alleluia, blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But whose delight is in your law, and in your law do they meditate day and night. And they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers, that brings forth fruit in due season. Their leaves shall not wither, and whatever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff, which the wind blows away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. A lesson from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 21. Tell me, you who desire to be subject to the law, will you not listen to the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave woman and the other by a free woman. One, the child of the slave, was born according to the flesh. The other, the child of the free woman, was born through the promise. Now this is an allegory. These women are two covenants. One woman, in fact, is Hagar from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. Now Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and corresponds to the present Jerusalem, for she is in slavery with her children. But the other woman corresponds to the Jerusalem above. She is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you childless one, you who bear no children. Burst into song and shout, you who endure no birth pangs. For the children of the desolate woman are more numerous than the children of the one who is married. Now you, my friends, are children of the promise, like Isaac. 
But just as at the time the child who was born according to the flesh persecuted the child who was born according to the Spirit, so it is now. But what does the Scripture say? Drive out the slave and her child, for the child of the slave will not share the inheritance with the child of the free woman. So then, friends, we are children not of the slave, but of the free woman. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. And we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church, and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We delight in your law, most high God, and we walk in your ways. Grant us your blessings, and may all our endeavors find favor in your sight and prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.